know, we've been talking the last month on the programs about the weapons of our warfare yeah. are not carnal. They're not worldly. Yeah. But they are mighty mm. in God yes. for the pulling down of strongholds yep. or destroying the enemy Amen. or protecting our family. Yes. And the reason why Tiz and I felt the Lord speak to us this month to talk about many things, talk about the woman said, if I could touch yes. the hem of his garment, mm. about the talit, no about take my word and put it on the doorpost of yeah. your house. And if you haven't heard these teachings, you, you need to yeah. get them because yes. these are supernatural yes, weapons are. Mm. that God has given us. They're yeah. not of this world. They are supernatural. Yes. Every one of them, Jesus himself talked about mm. and taught and practiced. Yes, he did. So you need to know these things because this is Jubilee. Yeah. This is the year of incredible Amen. miracles. And, and we're going into a new yeah. physical year. Yeah. But God wants you, man, I feel such an oh. anointing saying this. God <laughs> wants you and your family Amen. to go into this year yeah. knowing it's a jubilee year mm. of unlimited, yes. boundless miracles Amen. that he wants to bring in your life. And so yep. we just felt led of the Lord to share with you some things that's not taught normally in church right. or amongst Christians because the history of the church, Tiz, was let's take the Christians away from the Jewishness of the yep. Bible. Yep. We turn our backs on Jerusalem and start praying towards Rome. Yes. That's the whole history of the church. Right. And But the prophecy is in the last days... God will handpick certain mm -hmm. Gentiles. So if you're watching this, you're handpicked by God yeah. for your eyes to be open. Yep. And the prophecy is the miracles will be so great in your life Amen. that it'll get the world's attention. Amen. And and but you have to not just hear it, you have to do it. Yeah. You need to get a talit, you need to learn how to yep. how to do Shabbat, yep. you need to take God's word and put it on the doorpost of your house. And you know, so many times people will say, But we're Christians, we have Jesus, we mm -hmm. don't need those. Right. If Jesus wore a talit, Which he did. Maybe that's something that we we should do. Yeah. In, in Texas, we call that a, a clue. clue. And so we've got several teachings here, and and but today we're going to go into if you're if I could teach you one thing right. about Jewish roots, yeah. it would be this. Amen. Every Christian knows. Remember the Sabbath. Yeah. And keep it holy. Now, don't turn us off. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. The Sabbath is not Sunday. There's nowhere in the Bible that says God changed the Sabbath to Sunday. There's nowhere in the Bible. That is man's tradition. Mm. And something you said a couple programs ago, the only thing more powerful than God's word is in man's tradition. Man's tradition, because it nullifies yes. the word of mm. God. The reason why it was changed, and, and, and I've got it in several of my books, the reason why it was changed. 325 years after the resurrection of Jesus right. in the Council of Nicaea, yeah. it was changed to embrace the whole Roman Empire mm. and to embrace those who worship the sun god. Yeah. Okay. Now, here in our church in Bedford, Texas, in Dallas, Texas, we meet on Sunday. Yeah. We worship on Sunday. Right. We teach on Sunday. I met with um, a very orthodox Jewish rabbi a uh, leader in the world that knows Jesus is the Messiah mm. uh, in a private meeting. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, should we change from Sunday to Saturday in meeting? He said, no. Right. He said, absolutely don't do that because if you do that, you lose all the Gentile world Absolutely. that you're trying that God's called you to teach. Right. And so we meet on Sunday, mm -hmm. we teach on Sunday, yeah. people get saved on Sunday, but in all of our homes, right. we remember the Sabbath and we keep it holy. Yeah. The Sabbath biblically is Friday night mm -hmm. to Saturday night. The, mm -hmm. the, the, a, a new day begins at sundown yeah. and ends at sundown. And so we're going to talk to you about the supernatural power yeah, yeah. of the Sabbath. Mm. Now, Jesus said that he is the Lord of the Sabbath. Sabbath. 
almost every miracle, if you look at any miracle in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, mm -hmm. that Jesus did a miracle yeah. healing somebody. I could read off Peter's mother-in-law, uh, the pool of Bethesda, uh, the one who had uh, the sickness 18 years, the withered hand, the dropsy, spit in, in uh, put it in the mud and put yes. it in the guy's eyes. Yeah. Every one of those mm. say on the Sabbath, wow. on the Sabbath, wow. on the Sabbath. Now listen to me very mm. carefully. The reason why I'm emphasizing this, and, and, I, and I said that if I could only teach you one thing, in Jewish roots. Well, the first thing would be to love Israel and stand with Israel. That's the first thing because the Messiah came from Israel. He's coming back to Israel, to Jerusalem. So that would be the, fir the first thing. The second thing was, if I could only teach you one thing, is to remember the Sabbath and yeah. keep it. Now, we yeah. meet on Sunday. That's, that will never change. Yeah. But we, on Friday night, yeah. and our people... We light the Sabbath candles and we welcome that in. Yes. Why? Why is Jesus showing these things? Why does he say, I am the Lord of the Sabbath? Mm. Listen to this. The Lord told us, man is not made to serve the Sabbath. Right. Now listen to this. It'll change your life. But the Sabbath is there to serve mm. you. Now what does that wow. mean? The Sabbath is there to serve you. The hints are Jesus doing all these miracles yeah. on the Sabbath. Right. The Sabbath, we, we know in the Bible that it says there's an appointed time. Mm -hmm. Is there not an appointed time? Yeah. That word appointed time in Hebrew is moadim. Right. That's when God opens the windows of heaven and yeah. pours us out mm. such a blessing. The window is the word you showed. Right. And that window, when God, on those appointed times, yeah. God opens a window and there is a yeshod, mm -hmm. a funnel from the throne of God, from yeah. God's power to your need. Yes. Now we know that those appointed times are Passover, we'll call Easter, yep. Shavuot, which is Pentecost, mm -hmm. Sukkot, which is the Feast of Tabernacles. Right. Three times a year we come before the Lord and we don't come without an offering. Yes. Those are those first fruits that God opens the windows of heaven. Yep. But God doesn't just do that three times a year. God has mm. a window yes. from his power to your need mm. every week, Amen. which is called the Sabbath, Amen. which is called Shabbat. Yes. And on that window on Friday night, yep. as we light our Sabbath candles yes. and we've got a card and a, yeah. and a teaching on how to do this, how to prophesy over your home, yeah. your finances, your children, Amen. your sons, your Absolutely. daughters. It's powerful. Yes. It, we never, ever miss mm -mm. it. It's supernatural. Yeah. Why? Because Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath yeah. and we are welcoming in that mm. Sabbath. Now, God Amen. can heal on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Absolutely. and Thursday. Of course. But we know that when we welcome in yeah. that Sabbath bride, that Sabbath blessing, that blessing that we welcome in on Friday night, this is why, this is why in Hebrews it says there is a blessing yeah. called the seventh yes. day that we have Don't missed miss in Hebrews chapter four, four, I think it is. There's a blessing called the seventh day yes. that we are missing. Amen. It is a moedim, tis an anointed and appointed mm. time with God that he opens the window yeah. of heaven and releases at that moment, the moment you welcome Amen. that Sabbath blessing in, yeah. it releases miracles for Saturday, yes. for Sunday, for Monday, Tuesday. Yes. It is one of the most supernatural sure things is. that we can teach somebody. You know, and, and I love how you teach it in simplicity that we work all week long to achieve the things that we want in our life. Exactly. We work on our family. We work on this. We work for money. We work for all these things. But then on the Sabbath, we welcome in the blessing and God puts his super to our natural. All week long, we've done the natural. Yep. And come Shabbat, come Friday night, mm. when we welcome in the Lord of the Sabbath and yes. all that he's done mm. and all the seven places he shed his blood, we connect the super. That's yep. the window of heaven. We connect. That's why mm. the Bible says, so remember awesome. it and keep, keep it. it. Well, we're going to go to yeah. a break here in just a minute and we're going to show you. You know, God says, remember it and keep it. Yeah. Okay. How do we do that? Yeah. 
what what do we do to remember the Sabbath yes. and then to keep it? Mm. Now, let me say again, we meet on Sunday. We don't, we, we yeah. worship on Sunday. Absolutely. We have people get saved and healed totally. and teach on Sunday. But we as individuals on Friday night, and sometimes we do it in the church. Yeah. We have a special Shabbat uh, service, service on Friday night. But n whether we're doing it at home or you, you can do, or you're at work and you yeah. stop when the sun's coming down Amen. and say, I welcome mm. in the Sabbath blessing. Wow. Luke chapter four, John chapter five, Luke chapter 13, Matthew chapter 12, Luke chapter 14, John nine are miracles that God's word specifically says on Amen. the Sabbath, it took place. Awesome. Now, listen to me. In ancient Hebrew, it teaches, this is such an important mm. teaching. Right before God is getting ready to bless you, yeah. to bring you a blessing, he first gives you a chance. To be a blessing. Let me say that again. God's getting ready to bless you. This yeah. is Jubilee, the blessing of the Talit, the blessing of the Mezuzah, the blessing of Shabbat. Mm. He's getting ready. If you're watching today, he has handpicked you. Yep. Not every, not every gen, someday, Every Gentile will understand this. But the first ones that understand this during this season mm. of Jubilee, yep. we're out of Shemitah, we're out of the four blood moons. This is an amazing, amazing time yes. in history. Mm. The Gentiles who see this will never go through the valley again. Amen. But understand this, every one of us wants a blessing. Yeah. But before we pray for a blessing, don't worry about what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna wear, but seek yeah. God. God, what are you doing and how can I mm. be a blessing? Yes. These things will bring you yeah. the blessing that's supernatural. Amen. But before it's released, be a blessing to Israel and the Holocaust survivors that we're helping there. We'll be right back. 